Welcome to edit and copying clients' appointments. I will begin by showing you how to edit an existing appointment. There are a couple of different ways to actually see when a client has an existing appointment. So we will begin by searching for the client by their name. And then you can see under the search results, under the schedule column, if you select the calendar, this is going to show you current appointments for the clients. And if you would like to select a view, you can see the yellow, it means it's an upcoming appointment. And if you click the view, it's going to take you to the appointment calendar for that day. Another way to get that same information is if you are already in an a client's file. So we're already working in the client's file and they want to know when their upcoming appointments are. All you need to do is under the contact information section, select appointments. And this will show you again that same information. It will show their most recent appointments, current appointments, the yellow ones are upcoming. So then again you select view and it's going to take you to that appointment in the appointment calendar. So if you want to make changes to a, an appointment, all you need to do is if they're just changing the time, you can just select the time. Maybe she called, she's running late, she won't be in until 4.30. So you can just select the new time and save it. And then that changes the time of the appointment to 4.30. If you needed to change the date or the preparer, any of that information, all you need to do is just select a new day on the calendar and you can move that appointment to a different day. Works the same way if you need to delete an appointment. So if a client calls and needs to delete an appointment, you just click on their name on the appointment calendar and then you select de delete and that will go ahead and delete the appointment right off the calendar for you. So that's how you can edit appointments or you can delete appointments. Now I will discuss the copy features that are available within the appointment scheduler. The only people that can actually even see these copy features down here are users who are set up as office managers or preparers. So if somebody's not an office, excuse me, office manager or administrator. So if somebody is not an office manager or an administrator, they won't even see these features down here. So the first one is copy appointment. What this will do is this will allow you to have more than one appointment for the same client. So we've got the, the client appointment here. It's right here. It's 430 Michelle Bishop. If we want to schedule this appointment or give this client another appointment on another day, date to copy appointment to. So we'll click in the box, it'll pull up the appointment calendar. We'll say the client wants to come in on Friday the 20th also. So if we select that day and copy, it goes ahead and copies that appointment right over to that date that you picked. It does actually copy it over for the same time also. So if you needed to adjust the time on the appointment, it would be the same way as editing appointment. You click on the client's name and you can change the time of the appointment. Okay, so this next one is going to be copy appointment by date range. So this could be used if you have a reoccurring appointment or an event that you want to have show up on your calendar. For example, maybe you want to be blocked off at a certain time every day because that's when you go to lunch. So all that you need to do, so we have lunch scheduled right here at 12 o'clock. So if we click on this lunch appointment and we can select date to copy to, so let's say the following week we want to be blocked off for lunch every day. Number of days to copy, we we'll can go ahead and we'll copy this for five days. If you want to do it for the whole tax period, for the whole year, you can put however many days that you would like. So we'll select copy and OK. 
And then if we look at any day next week, you can see that that 12 o'clock lunch appointment is scheduled under Diana's name. So we have copied that appointment over. The next copy feature is going to be copy office or employee by date range. So this feature will allow you to copy the appointment calendar for the entire office or for selected employees. So this would be useful if you schedule your appointments for your clients. Same clients want to come in same day every single year. So you can copy over the entire appointment calendar. So for an example, employee to copy, like I said, you can select employee or multiple employees, or you can select all employees. So we will do all employees. Let's say we want to copy all of our appointments for this past tax season, and we want to copy them over till next tax season. So I'll pick January 4th, 2015. Date to copy to, we want to copy it to January of 2016. Number of days to copy, let's say we want to copy the whole tax season. So if we do 120 days and copy, it will let you go ahead and copy all of those records. So now if we go and look in January of 2016, we should see that we have appointments on the calendar here. Now the one thing that I do want to make sure to point out about this feature is that there are not there are no checks and balances between the appointments and the work schedule. So it will go ahead and copy over all of your appointments regardless of the work schedule. So you may just need to go in and make sure that you have enough employees scheduled to cover all of those appointments. All right, the next thing that the next copy feature that we have is copy appointment to different employee. So this will allow you to have an appointment with multiple employees. Or if you would like to schedule something like a staff meeting that's going to cover multiple employees. So for example, let's say this client Lucy is coming in. She has an appointment with Eric. But Eric wants to make sure that Mark sits in on the appointment too. So he can select, oh, Eric's not on here. So we, we will select Rick. We'll say Rick is going to set in on that appointment too. We'll select copy. And then you can see now Eric and Rick both are blocked off to schedule to meet with Lucy. Another way that that might work, if we go back to today's date on the calendar, you might want to do something like maybe you have a weekly or a monthly staff meeting with your office and you want to block off everybody's everybody's time. So if we click on staff meeting, which is the appointment that's already scheduled, then we can select the employee that we want to attend that meeting and select copy. So if you have multiple employees that you want to attend that same meeting, you can just select their name and it's going to block everybody off for that same event. So that is it for editing and copying clients' appointments. Thank you.